What is up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Real quick video, this is my top three winter baits. When the water's cold, the air is cold, and those bass are all grouped together, or they're in deep water, um, off of deeper points, all that stuff. I'm going to tell you my three favorites, specifically for Lake Castaic and Southern California in general, um, specifically those lakes. <laughs> Top three. So one would be, and I've only used this one a few times, would be the blade bait. Now the blade bait is cool because it is a heavy bait, so you can really cast it. Um, and you let it sink all the way to the bottom and you pop it up and it shimmies back down. You pop it up, it shimmies back down. And what that looks like is a shad that is on its last legs. And in the winter time, uh, when the water's cold, the air's cold, all that stuff, and the shad are you know few and far between, or they start to die because of the the, the cold water, um, that is where the bass are going to um, attack those things. So the blade bait is an incredibly effective uh, tool. I had one, I was gonna show you it, and one that I've used, but um, I lost it, so I have no idea where it is. So, all right, that's number three, is the blade bait. Uh, number two, and this one, number two and number one, are kind of uh, you know interchangeable to me. Uh, there is some benefits for the number one. That's why I'm going to keep it at number one. But number two is the tube bait. So in the wintertime, a lot of times, um, you know, the smaller baits are, are going to be more effective. The water is very clear, typically, in the wintertime. And so um, the, the fish can see everything. So especially, again, Castaic and the Southern California lakes that are really clear, really pressured, really deep. Um, this fish can see everything. So your normal stuff that you would normally throw, drop shot, uh, Ned rig, um, Sankos, anything like that, jerk baits, crank baits, all that stuff, they, they're gonna be able to see it very, very well. So not that those things don't work, you know, you can try anything and, and those things work, but the little tube bait is incredibly effective. I start throwing this a few years ago in December, January, when it's cold and there's not a lot of bait out there. And, you know, the way those tiny little tube baits work, you know, you throw it and it, you know, on light line, you know, try to use like six to four pound test and a very light setup, a thousand reel, a thousand size reel typically works. You don't want the, um, the rod to be too light and, and give too much because you want to be able to cast it. But a size, a size thousand, maybe 2,500 with size, you know, six pound to four pound uh, fluorocarbon, that's what I use. Put on the tiny little tube bait, you throw it out, and uh, you kind of treat it like a jerk bait. You pop, pop, and then let it sink. And the way that thing sinks, it is just outstanding. Uh, you can do this for boiling bass, um, or you could just do this, like I said, for winter bass. You throw it up next to sticks, trees, stuff like that. It's been incredibly effective. And because you're using a lighter setup and a tiny little bait, um, you know, you catch a two pound bass and it's it's quite a quite a fun fight. So uh, the tube bait, I like to use sort of natural colors. Um, I like the grays and the smokes. Um, those have been very, very effective. Uh, and then if I'm maybe like a green or a brown color, pumpkin seed, stuff like that, those, those just have been working very well for me. Um, all right, so the number one bait. So those are the two. Uh, number one is, of course, many people's favorite bait overall, and it does work year round, but that is the fluke. The fluke is an extremely effective bait in winter, and you can experiment with the sizes. I like to use a little tiny mini fluke. I just nose hook it and kind of do the same thing like with the uh, tube bait. It does have a little different sort of thing. Uh, and as you saw in that last video, the big striper one, you know, I was throwing the slightly larger um, fluke on the surface uh, and bass were going after it, striper were going after it, all kinds of stuff. But with the fluke, you can uh, it can use it as a top water in the wintertime. You can let it sink. Um, you throw it next to brush and sticks and all that stuff and uh, you can get bit. And again, you kind of do the same thing as you do um, with the blade bait. And that is, you know, you can cast it where you need to cast it, let it sink all the way, pop it up, you know, it's got a nice little action as it sinks and stuff like that. You can whip it real fast across the surface. There's all kinds of ways. And again, you experiment with the different sizes. The last uh, fishing trip I went out on with my buddy Mike and caught that uh, big striper at the beginning, um, I was trying to use the bigger um, flukes just so I can get some distance in the casting. Um, but then I downgraded to a smaller one and I was able to, to get bit off of that. So 
that is it. Those are your three, my three favorite uh, winter baits. There's a lot of different things, the Ned Rig and, and, the, and the drop shot that do work. You know, you kind of slow your approach, but I like those three um, because they're very versatile and they're always effective. So that is it. Just a quick video, three favorite winter baits. All right, keep watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.